All right, guys, so we already calculated the VCG mechanism decision rule, which says whenever buyer's valuation is greater than the seller's valuation, trade should occur, otherwise no trade. And then we also found or calculated the transfer functions, kind of the price. Uh, it basically says if there's a transfer, uh, the buyer should pay theta s amount of money and the seller should pay or receive nothing. So the, when, when the buyer makes this payment, who receives this money? Uh, no one. Uh, so that's awkward side of it. And when the buyer, I'm sorry, when there's no room for trade, meaning theta B is less than or equal to theta S, well, the buyer is going to pay nothing and the seller uh, is supposed to make a payment uh, with the amount of theta B. Who receives this money? Again, uh, uh, nobody knows. So that's sort of, uh, I mean, the, the money is, is burned, wasted, uh, in a sense. All right, so the, the, the transfer functions are weird, which exactly is our next point. Uh, let me now argue that the VCG mechanism in this environment is not going to give us a, a, a balanced budget. Uh, how so? Well, remember the budget balanced means the buyer's transfer, the seller's transfer, whenever uh, type is the theta, all right, has to be equal to zero. This is the definition of uh, budget balancedness. So for any given theta, what is the buyer's uh, 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 transfer? Well, the buyer's transfer is, if you remember, uh, we can just calculate it as, well, this is a step function, so you can just make it in two cases. If theta b is greater than theta s, or if theta b is less than or equal to theta s, all right? So if theta b is greater than theta s, well, then the buyer's transfer is minus theta s, and then the seller's transfer is zero. And otherwise, the buyer's transfer is zero, and then the seller's transfer is minus theta b. So as you see, the total transfer is always negative, all right? Uh, because both theta s and theta b are positive real numbers. So therefore, the tb plus ts is strictly less than zero for every theta. However, for budget balancedness, we must have tb plus ts equal to zero for every theta. Um, so this is clearly not a, a balanced budget. So here, I hope you understand what we mean by budget balance, uh, budget balancedness. It means whenever buyer pays something, uh, the seller should be receiving that. And whenever sellers pay something, buyers should be receiving that. All right. So uh, these transfer functions are not budget balanced, but what type of transfer function would be budget balanced? For example, tb equals minus theta s zero, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to ignore if this, if then uh, parts, and ts equals, uh, for example, plus theta s and minus or, or zero, for example. So again, if theta b greater than theta s, otherwise, if theta b greater than theta s, otherwise, okay, I, I couldn't uh, leave them. Um, so in this case, tb plus ts will always be equal to zero, all right? So minus theta s plus theta s zero, zero plus zero, zero. So therefore, this would be, for example, regardless of theta b, theta s values, this transfer rule uh, function would be budget balanced, all right? Or alternatively, uh, as in this case, if this is uh, minus theta b, this should be plus theta b. All right. In this case, again, this transfer function would be budget balanced. So you got the idea. Whenever seller or a buyer makes a payment, this payment should be going to the other players. And whenever seller makes a payment, well, this money should be going to the others, uh, other players. Uh, but this is not happening here. And hence, it's not budget balanced. What happens is that buyer making a payment and the seller doesn't receive any money. 
uh, well, I'm sorry, I mean, he receives zero dollars. Well, then why am I making a trade at the first place, right? So that's a very problematic uh, mechanism. Um, so budget balancedness, for that reason, is an important criteria. Okay, so we concluded that this VCG mechanism in this environment is clearly violating budget balancedness. But what about individual rationality? I mean, do the buyer uh, and the seller ever really want to participate to this mechanism? Well, remember the budget balancedness says, I'm sorry, individual rationality says the buyer's and the seller utility are always non-negative for any theta. Is it really the case? Well, let's calculate. What is the buyer's utility? Well, his utility is, remember, d times theta b uh, plus tb. Okay, well, well, again, this is depending on whether theta b greater than theta s and theta b less than or equal to theta s, right? So if theta b is greater than theta s, the buyer's uh, d is going to be 1, so it's going to be theta b plus tb. What is tb? It's uh, minus theta s. Oops, minus theta s. Uh, so theta b is greater than theta s, so this is a positive number. Good. Well, what about this case? Well, in this case, d is 0, right? There's no trade, so it's 0 plus tb. tb is 0 as well. Huh, so therefore, according to this calculation, the buyer's utility will always be positive, which means buyer actually would like to participate to this mechanism. Buyer will always be in. Uh, all right? Okay. What about the seller, though? Well, the u of s is equal to, well, this time it's, remember, minus dts plus ts. And, okay, so what happens if theta b greater than theta s? And what happens if theta b less than or equal to theta s? So when theta b is greater than theta s, d is equal to 1. And when d is equal to 1, this is going to be minus theta s plus, what is ts in this case? It's 0. So it's negative. However, when theta b less than or equal to theta s, d is 0. So this term is 0. What is ts? ts is minus theta b. Huh. So regardless of whether theta b greater than or less than theta s, the buy a seller's utility is always negative, all right? So us is always negative. ub was always positive, but positive or a greater than or equal to zero, but us is always negative. So it violates individual rationality. So the bottom line is the VCG mechanism, although it is strategy proof, it violates budget balancedness and it also violates individual rationality. The buyer has incentive to participate to this mechanism, but the seller will hate this mechanism because there's no way he can make positive profit. No way. He will always make negative profit. Uh, and, and the individual rationality, in fact, says you should always be making positive profit. Um, okay, so therefore, uh, this is an awkward mechanism in this framework. Uh, but as we argued earlier, the VCG mechanism is strategy proof, always. Uh, let's prove it, which is coming up in the next episode.